All right, it's Kiss joined in the studio right about now. One of my favorite MCs and a lot of MCs' favorite MCs. My homeboy D Double E, what is good, brother? Wow, go on, Kazi. What's good, man? It's been a minute, it's been a minute. It's been a minute, bloco, bloco. But you are here, you are here. I'm here. So listen, this year 2010, it's been kind of crazy for yourself and for the new generals. Yeah. Let's talk about it, man. Yeah, man, it's been a lot, man, since the album, really, and then Hard, and then The Woos. Let's, then... Talk, let's talk about Hard. Yeah, Hard. That, that's, shout out to Breakage, ridiculous yeah. tune. Yo, in January, I was with Diz yeah. uh, in Australia, touring, yeah. and then I stayed for another two weeks to do yeah. a, a DJ tour. Yeah. And literally, every club, and this is in Australia in January time, yeah. was playing Hard. Every club. Yeah. Even, like, the DJs before me were beating me to it to play it. Is that what's going Seriously, on? Yeah, it was ridiculous. Because that's one place I haven't hit yet, so that's yeah. that's good to hear, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. We got my Australian crew, man. Yeah, exactly, Love. exactly, exactly. So, Street Fighter. Yeah, we need to talk about that yeah. big tune, destroying raves everywhere. Yeah, radio. That's it, it's man. It's a good look, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> big up DJ Swerve on production. Yeah, shout out to Kiss and Swerve on production. Yeah, man. Big up Swerve. And yeah, man. Street Fighter is doing a lot, man. I mean, it was it was so lucky at the time that the game was coming out as well. Yes, you know what I mean? yes. The it's timing like, was good. Timing. It's all about timing out <laughs> yeah, here right now. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, man. Street Fighter is doing a lot, man, on the roads. If you ain't heard it, you need to get to know. Okay, so before we play it, was that just a rhythm that you were given and then you had the concept for it or had it um, all come no, about? No, it was like, um, Swerve actually had the tune and mm. he had samples in there, street by the samples in okay, it. Okay, okay. So then that kind of sparked me off. So okay. it's like, he had the gas and I had the light. Okay. Like, I just blew it up, man. Blew all right. Up, man, yeah. You know what, we're going to get into it now. You want to introduce it? This one is Street Fighter. Rhythm, okay? Bloco, bloco. All right, we're back. Just heard the sounds of Street Fire, D double E, Swerve on Production. Big, big tune, big, big tune. Big, uh, so, what's the plans as in terms of a release for that record? Yeah, man. Video, what are we looking at? Yeah, man, we've got a video, gonna, it's gonna be ready in two weeks and it's gonna be hitting the TV screen. Okay, okay. Uh, MTV Base, aka all the old flavor, all, all that right. stuff. And uh, we've got a release date as well, July the 26th. July the 26th? Yeah. All right, I like that. that. That's yeah, real man. soon. Yeah, man. And on the same day, Shank, the movie, Yeah. that's going to be out as well. Okay. And I'm in that movie as well. So on the 26th... Okay, I never knew that. Movie yeah. star now, yeah? On the 26th, yeah, that's going to be out, man. So, All right. Yeah, man. So let's talk about that, man. What's, what's the deal? The yeah, man. We've done one film called Shank, uh, Big Up Mo. Mm -hmm. He was the director. Okay. Uh, Bashi was a main actor. Right. And Adam Deacon was okay. in there. And... Um, I think it's something like the um, adulthood, kidhood sort of film crew, the same sort of crew. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know what I mean? But uh, Mo, I think Mo wrote the story, and um, yeah, that's gonna be that was in the cinemas, and now it's gonna be released on DVD um, on the 26th of July, on the wow. same day as Cheek Biter. So wow, yeah, man. Wow. Lots man, of things going on. That's it. So I heard a little rumor of an EP. Yeah, man, I got the Bloco Bloco EP coming. <laughs> yeah, it, I love man. the way you got your own uh, vocabulary, bro. That's that's just sick. Yeah, man, I got to have your own style. You know what I mean? You got to have your own flavors. So, like, I have all the MCs in the game. Yeah, I think you stand out the most as in terms of your own style, whether it be the voice or, or, or the words or whatever. Yeah. But like, who really influenced you when, when, when you were growing up to get that style? Well, you know what, man. Oh, there's, there's quite a few things that influenced me. Mainly, I'd say mainly drum and bass mm. influenced me to pick up the mic and do it myself. Mm. But the music I kind of grew up to, kind of, it's like when I started understanding what was going on and then drum and bass come, come along, mm. it kind of added up and then what made me also want to start spitting people like Skipper D yeah. like people in the jungle scene early like Skipper D Hyper D um they all of them sort of MCs they're the ones that kind of started me off and because I used to just spit their bars mm. my friend had decks about four tunes 
to play them and I used to just spit their bars. Okay. And just muck about. That was in like 96 when I was like 16. Same. So it's like, and then I finally started writing my own stuff. And then he was buying more records at the same time. Okay. So then it was like practice session. This, this is TDK times. Yes, you know yes, I mean? yes. So then Pre-internet. from there, it just started, man. So I'd say drum and bass, listening to music like reggae, mm. hip hop, Snoop Dogg days, you know, first album days, yeah, 93. Biggie Smalls, yeah. all of that stuff. Or just when I started understanding lyrics for myself with that. Like, cause th- when I used to listen to the hip hop, that was me buying, getting the hip hop CD myself. Mm. I used to listen to reggae and that, but that was my dad in the car pumping it, or my mum yeah. in the house pumping it when she wakes up in the morning. Mm. Do you know what I mean? When I got my own radio in my in in my room, that's when I started listening to like Cool FM 945 CDs. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it all started happening then. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. So we're going to get into the Woo Rhythm. The Woo, bad to the bone. The woo, let's talk about that band. Like, a lot yeah, of people man. touched it. Yeah, A lot man. of people destroyed it as well. Yeah, But sure, there was man. one that stood out. Yeah, man. And the funny thing about that is, like, I was one of the last people to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I thought Footsie was the first person. Yeah, Footsie killed then, And then, then I started hearing, nah, oh, this guy's done one, and nah, oh, this guy's done one, and... Because cause SX, the producer, Big Up SX, he's from Wolverhampton. Mm. It's like, there was a lot of up north versions as well, like yeah. Chiller done one and a couple other people. And then I was, for one minute, I wasn't going to do it because I thought, oh, it's all Too many people have done, done it. But then I done it and it still set a trend. All right, we're we're going to get into it now. We're going to come back with more DWE. Let's kiss. Mm. 